I don't like what's happening in the later edition of Windows. See, we have two opponents battling it out, I guess. We have the settings menu and the control panel menu. Now, I'm team control panel. Are you settings? Let's find out real quick. So now, the change things in Windows, to change settings. You might imagine that you'll go to the settings menu, and you're right, that sounds more intuitive. On your phone, on your iPhone, Android, whatever it is, settings makes sense to change settings. If we go to our search bar here and search for <laughs> settings, there's a whole app for it. It's pretty intuitive, but I don't like it because I grew up a different way. But you can change a lot of things. We got display, sound, notifications. I mean, you can do a lot. And I'm not gonna cover every one of these, but this menu here is limited. And it's not where admins have been changing settings in Windows past. Let me show you the preferred way. I like, the way I like to do it. It might go away, but this thing called Control Panel has been a long, around for a long time. If you would have seen my Windows history video, I mean, they introduced it in Windows, what, 3.0? Or is it 1.0? It's been around for a long time. I think it's 3.0. Let's go to our search bar and search for Control Panel. This is where I feel like I have the most control. And this is more admin centric. You can do more complex things. And what's funny, and you'll notice this, if you ever use the settings menu, it'll often kick you out to a control panel screen because that's where the settings are normally gonna live. Now, a couple places you'll probably end up going a lot. I'm not gonna go over every one of these. One place is the network and internet settings. Let's jump in there. Click on network and internet. Internet options, I don't think I've ever used in my entire life but you'll use this a lot, Network and Sharing Center. Now, you'll notice you'll have to drill down a couple menus to get where you wanna be. It's not as simple as changing a desktop background, you're getting into the system configuration. So it's showing you things like this, your network adapter, your active networks. And if we click on this network adapter, and drill down deeper, Ethernet zero, let's go. This one's fun, shows you some info about your internet speed, how long you've been up, data sent and received. And if you drill down further, you can go to properties with even more complex settings. So I think you understand, like control panel is for admins. It's the advanced settings of your system. Pretty much everything you want to change and Windows can be changed here. Most of what you'll want to change in Windows on a daily basis will be found in control panel. So for example, here in this menu, if I wanna change my IP address or a DNS server for my system, I can change it right here with the Internet Protocol version 4 option. Just double click that and there I can change my IP address. As an admin, you'll go here a lot to change network information. I'll just get out of there and go back to our control panel home. Now, can I show you the best way to view control panel? <laughs> this is like one of the first things I always do when I get a new system or when I'm administering it is over here under view by. We have it on category right now, which I absolutely hate. I'm gonna change that from category to small icons and oh, so much better. Here we can jump to right what we need from network and sharing center, power options, phone and modem. If you, <laughs> why is that even still here? I've got to look inside that. You can still set up a modem connection, which if you're like, what is that? That's how people used to connect to the, the internet over a phone line connection, which you may not even know what a phone line connection is. People used to have phones in their house that were connected via a cord. <laughs> I don't know how young you are. But that's control panel. A brief intro, we didn't dive too deep, but that's where your computer settings live. And even if you're going through that very fancy, nice settings menu, it's actually most of the time referring back to the control panel and will kick you back there to make those changes. It's just kind of a friendly little concierge before you get here. That's all I got. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for sticking around. To learn more about Windows and other cool stuff, go to academy.networkchuck.com. Link in the description.